Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I'm back, and I'm still opening these mystery grab bag packs from that score I had with uh, buying a collection from a guy in uh, Lincoln, Rhode Island. So I went down to Lincoln, and for 10 bucks, picked up a bunch of cards, including like, these mystery packs. So Joe, thank you for sending these uh, mystery packs with me here. And let's see what we can pull out of here. It's been really fun to see the eclectic range of cards showing up through here. Looks like we got a lot of 87 tops in here, which is fun. The iconic set for sure. And there's an 88 uh, Vince Coleman record breaker, as well as Don Mattingly, and with Rich, Ricky Henderson as well, record breaker, and Mark McGuire record breaker. And this is the one with the white spot there. So uh, I'm not, I don't know if that's the error one or if that's the corrected one, but... Um, I know there are some with the white spot and some without. So that's the Mark McGuire white spot error. So that's fun. Oh, look at that. Ryan Sandberg, one of my personal favorites. And I personally collect his cards. So I'll be adding that one to my personal collection, which is nice. And looks like we got some 1983 cards in here, too. Bill Madlock, Al Oliver. These are 82 tops. Collins, Dem, Damaso, Garcia, Wayne Nordhagen. So I'm not familiar with. Leon Durham, played for those Cubs too. Rick Sutcliffe, and maybe his last year for the Dodgers that he before he went over to the Cubs. As you can tell, I grew up a Cubs fan before becoming a Phillies fan, and now I'm a Red Sox fan, so there you go. That's what happens when you move around a little bit. Just you learn to cheer for the home team. All right, so that's a nice, good way to start there. We start off with some fun cards with that McGuire possible error, as well as Ryan Zamberg and some others. Don Ossie, which we learned was how you pronounce that name. He's got a giant glove in that picture. Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. Two of those. Has led the league multiple times in multiple things. Put those aside for him. Just never know what you're going to get in these kind of packs. Dave Johnson leading his team to the 86 World Series champions with the Mets. Now into 88 tops. Just a stark difference between that 87 set and the 88 set. 88 just looks a lot more modern to me, even if it is still pretty old. Hey, look at that, Nolan Ryan and two of them. So Nolan Ryan is the only guy I personally still collect that is not a former Cubs player. So excited to put those two in my collection. That's fun. Mike Sosha. Some more 82 tops. This is a fun set. Tito Landrum. Second year card for him. Luis Salazar, before he grew his mustache and joined the Cubs. JL Murphy, look at that. A couple good ones there. He's a, just, this is really, just as he was heading into his stardom. Really great player. Underrated in my opinion. John Montefusco. There you go. George Foster. Part of that big red machine. There's another George Foster in action. Pete Yukovic right there. See on the pitching leaders for the Brewers. Alright, so that's it for that pack. Let's see if we get this one. There's about a hundred cards in each of these packs. Quite a mix of cards, too. Always a few thrown in there. The surprises or surprise years or sets. There's an Edgar Martinez, 1989 Donruss. Second year card for him. That's a good one. 
little park. Love these old Donruss ones, especially the really old ones like 82. Tuffy Rhodes. Tuffy Rhodes went on to play um, in Japan and be as, like a superstar there. We learned that in a previous video. Fleer Ch Philly's checklist from 1982. Chase Utley, look at that. Chase Utley, Opeachy. 2009 Opeachy, Chase Utley. That's cool. Adrian Gonzalez, Garrett Anderson. Let's see, some of these guys I just don't know. Josh Hamilton, I do know him. So that's an interesting one. Ryan Church, Ryan Madsen, There's Josh Hamilton again, Eric Chavez. Hmm. Huh, it's an interesting set. I have not seen this 2009 Opeachy set before. I'm thinking that these black bordered cards are maybe for rookies. I'm not really sure. Carlos Beltran. That's a good one. When it comes to this year, like I know some of the Phillies players, but not much beyond that. Uh, oh, Matsui. Yeah. Okay. Put him aside for now. It's an interesting set. I had not seen this. And it's like pretty throwback. There's Jonathan Papelbon, the Red Sox. I do know him. Um, they're kind of a throwback because they're just. Oh, Mariano Rivera, Hall of Famer, the only guy to be unanimously voted to the Hall of Fame. Here's a sports flicks with Nito Santiago, Steve Bedrosian, and Don Mattingly. So that's fun. Yeah, it's a nice little interesting little uh, package we got here. Who's this? I can't read these. Xavier Hernandez. Mike Lowell, Tim Wallach, Mike Lamb, Andrew Jones, yeah. so it's a 2000 upper deck, Andrew Jones, nice thick card stuff there, that side, Ryan Klesko, started off with the Braves, a good prospect, Jay Buna, Paul Sorrento, Carlos Beltran again. Oops, got two of them in there and I just bumped it. SP Authentic. All right, Rick Aguilera. This is Donruss uh, 1994. So I've actually never opened a pack of 1994 Donruss. So that's kind of cool. I stopped just before this. Stop collecting, I mean. Jayhawk Owens. Huh. Don't know him. That's interesting. So normally I can flip through these cards real quick because I know the guys and I know the sets well, but these are ones that I'm not familiar with. Look, there's a Kevin Mitchell with a, this is clearly like a gold card or insert or something like that. What does that say on the back? Special something. I'll put that one aside and check it out maybe. That's Frank Viola. Jose Batista. Chuck Knobloch. That's a fun little diversion. There's Robin Ventura. And then into what I really know, 88 Don Russ. So we can flip through quickly. Ron Gant rookie card. So definitely some interesting cards and then let me go to our last mystery pack of this video looks like we've got some more tops in here so there's a dan wilson number one draft pick and 86 tops here you know, 86 tops. I really like this set. There's a Paul Molitor. 
like this set, but there is not a lot, a lot of redeeming cards in this set. Not a lot of, certainly not a lot of rookies. Um, in terms of best, oh, there's a Rusty Staub. I was just reading about him and um, in the Ron Darling book I was mentioning before, 108 stitches. So I'm gonna put that aside. Take a look at that a little bit more. Look at that. Whitey Herzog's got a haircut you can set your watch to. Bill Buckner. Little do you know when this picture was taken, Bill, that you would be the, the GOAT of the 1986 World Series and not greatest of all time GOAT, but GOAT. Um, as he loses the series for the Red Sox and the Mets take it home with that ball from Lukey Wilson going between his legs in that famous play. All right, finishing up here. There's a Barry Larkin. Second year card for him. George Brett and Brett Saberhagen for the Royals leaders. George Brett, 1987 tops, and two of them. So look at that, that's nice. You know, I gotta say, there's a Richard Jackson, Carl Yastrzemski, Carl Yastrzemski, Carl Yastrzemski, Larry Wills, there's throwback cards, there's Vita Blue. Going back, he played for the Iowa Oaks before they were the Iowa Cubs in the minor leagues when they were an A's farm team. Um, you know, for 10 bucks for this whole Isn't on Grace Galarraga rookie card, uh, for 10 bucks, you know, this giant is a Doug Drayback rookie card. Um, you know, I just feel like definitely got my money's worth here. It's been fun to go through it just from an entertainment value standpoint. Here's Rusty Staub. Let's look at him up. He, went, he started off with the Colt 45s way back in the day. Played for a lot of different teams. So on his second stint with the Mets here, played in that 86 team that went to the World Series. Like I said, it was mentioned as kind of a hero and a mentor for Ron Darling. There he is. There's old Rusty. <clears throat> Looks like he died in 2018. He's a color commentator on baseball as well. Played for 23 seasons. Six-time All-Star. 2,700 hits, just sh a bit shy of the 3,000 mark. Original member of the Montreal Expos and the team's first star. Reti they retired his number in 93, and the Mets put him in their Hall of Fame. In 86, when he was still playing, huh? So he died at the age of 73. Oh, he was not on that 86 Mets um, World Series team. He... This was his last year. This 85 was his last year here. So look at that. 23 seasons in the bigs. 279 lifetime hitter. 292 home runs. Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame. Let's just check his retirement honors. Mets Hall of Fame in 86. Established a nice foundation. Yep, just an all-around good guy, it looks like. Spent a lot of time raising money for the Police and Firefighters, Widows, and Children's Benefit Fund, including after 9-11. Was an announcer from 86 to 95 for the Mets. A restaurant owner opened Rusty's. So that's fun. Goodwill ambassador for the Mets and vice president of the Major League Baseball Players Alumni Association. And did his uh, children's book, Hello, Mr. Met. So that's nice. I mean, he had a heart attack in 2015, but was resuscitated. He died in 2018, just before his 74th birthday. Multiple organ failure. So 
seems like an all-around good guy, a real baseball baseball guy, and um, you know, a pillar of the community. So, Daniel Joseph, Rusty Staub, good for you. Hats off to you, buddy. Hats off to you, Rusty, for making the world and the game of baseball better. And the rest of you, we'll see you next time.